Yes, it's not the fastest in the straight lines, but feels pretty good. Brakes feel good. It's not the fastest in the straight lines, but feels pretty good. Brakes feel good. That was a big lock up. Alright chaps, welcome to another What's It Like to Drive with a car you might recognise. If you watched my video a couple of months ago, where we were looking at a new daily driver and went to see three BMW saloons, a 7 Series, a 5 Series, and this 3 Series, an E36 323 Sport. It's a kind of track day, fast road kind of car, it's got LSD, it's got Porsche brakes, it's got the M50, inlet manifold, it's got the bigger injectors. So it's a little bit fruity, we'll talk more about it after, but we're gonna go out today, we're at Blyton Park. And yeah, we're gonna go for a little Raz. In this E36, it's got IBAC suspension, Z3 steering rack, usual stuff. We're on Cup 2, Cup 2 tires. So here's the uh, trolley jack and little Porsche brakes, front and rear though. We've got front and rear with the Porsche brakes. So it's a saloon obviously as well. Stiffer chassis than the coupe, don't you know? Just obviously the coupe has the pillar of the stores. No, no pillar of the stores here. LSD from a 3 to 8 Sport. It's a long ratio, 293 ratio. But yeah, should be having a good time. So let's not waste any time. Let's get out and see what it's like. So I haven't driven an E36 for a while. So remember we're at Blighton Park. Just going out now for a little send. I'm a, a little bit of a strange driving position. Well, not terrible. Brake pedal feels okay. Oh, we're getting a little video. Um, yeah, very, very high up at the front now. My E46s and uh, my E36 that I used to have always had the um, the seat rails mounted to the floor. Where this is on sliders, but also, if you notice look where my legs are naturally, the steering wheel's kind of over a little bit. And that's something that the aftermarket rails used to uh, used to do. They used to move you over to the to the closer to the tunnel. Whereas this one definitely feels like I'm, you know, over that way just a little bit. But we'll give it some stick out of here. That. I only did that because I knew someone was videoing by the way, I'm not a, you know, when the car's warm, pretty warm, we'll, we will go pretty steady though, we don't want to go too hard. We've got cup two, so we're on a good, a good tyre, but we won't take the piss. Oh yeah, the gears are super long. So remember it's a 323, but if you're not into BMWs, that does not mean it's a 2.3 litre. That means it's a two and a half litre. 2.5 M52 with an LSD from a 3 to 8 Sport. Gonna go steady around there. So I've only driven the track once today so far in the EG this morning with the little session. So I'll just get things up to temperature nice and steadily. Probably one of in second gear for that. I have to check, shut that sunroof, eh? Because uh, I bet you're just hearing wind noise. This Stilo helmet's really good for insulation, so I don't really hear any noises, but I can sort of just about hear it. So let's just close that. Right, are all the windows up? I think they are. All four electric windows, that's insane, Jeremy. Four electric windows, I've got a yellow flag up here. The 
United 2 and 3 behind us. Should we let him round and then chase him? That'll be good content, won't it? We still need to decide what we're doing with these tyres, and these gears are super long. It's an interesting sound. See, we can keep it in third around this. Fast section, I mean I know I'm not keeping a pin just yet, but we're gonna have to go down second for here. Feel the weight of it, it's not a light car. So slow to rev, too. Are you letting me by? Yeah, yeah, it's slow to rev. I mean, it's got power, it's not a power problem, but I think it's just the gear ratio super long. Another E36 here, look. Just using second and third all the way around. Now if we can't catch up a Suzuki Swift Sport, then there's something wrong with this E36, isn't there? There's some kind of ghost trapped in the steering column going around that corner. Caught the swift. Your honour has been restored. Come on, E36. Why is it? We're only just getting past. Yeah, she's not the fastest in the straight lines, but feels pretty good. Brakes feel good. She's definitely got a raised rev limit because she's revving fucking up to about seven grand, I think. Yeah, look. Revving up to about seven. <laughs> Starting to find the limit now. Remember, we're on Cup 2s, but I think we're only on 225 sized Cup 2s. No, not the biggest. I had 265 on the M3 and probably weighed a similar amount. Definitely got some brake locking going on. It's meant to have ABS, but I don't think it's working that well. I guess when you put the bigger brakes on it can cause some issues with the ABS systems, eh? Catching now on MX5. Nice day for an MX5. Yeah, nice day just to do some MX5 things, isn't it? What is that robot sound? Yeah, there's not many passing places at Blight and it's a really short lap as well, but it's good funny. So what's the car telling me? Well, it's struggling a bit, that's for sure. Oh, we've got a race car coming up behind us. We'll let him dash on the straight. Move 
that bail in somehow, I wonder how they've done that. Come on, if you can't get around the 323, there's something wrong with you, lad. That's weird, that's like a uh, super cup, but it's got a, a roof on it where the super cup shouldn't have roofs on. Normally, anyway. sound interesting interesting sound um right I best give it a little drift for the camera where is he is he still videoing oh, he's up there look That was a big lock up. That was a big lock up. Yeah, I don't think the ABS is working that well. Uh, let's just uh, go a bit steady. I think we'll pit actually. I don't want to ruin his car, we've had a good little time there but we had a big lock up there, I don't know if it came across on camera at all did you feel it? he did tell me he thought something was acting a bit strange on the ABS and yeah I agree something not quite right with the ABS grips well though, it wants to understeer more than it wants to oversteer yeah I don't want to be uh, responsible for killing someone's car, you know if it's got a problem. No, I don't know what that, I think that's just a brake pad wear sensor that we've got on there, but definitely felt like uh, there's something funky going on with the brakes as if the ABS wasn't doing a lot, but I don't know. So, decent performance though for a, a fast road car, eh? So thanks to Pete for letting me take his car out. Enjoyed that. Definitely could be improved a lot, but you know, these cars are, uh, these cars are just quite nice where they are, I think, at the minute, especially where the numbers are going on them. They're obviously worth a decent price, you know, and do you really want to do too much to them to make them better on track when, you know, it's not going to increase its value that much, is it, compared to what it's worth? This car's for sale for seven grand, seven thousand pounds, which is, you know, for the LSD, IVAC coilovers, all the good stuff, M50, low mileage, 108,000, was it? 118,000 miles, you know relatively low mileage really oh so let's say average miles then not low but if it's over 100k it's not it can't be low can it but you know reasonable mileage um yeah nice motor all right well i've just been out in the 36 so first impressions well i think it's definitely at the limit of a fast road car and it's knocking on the door of track day territory but it's not quite there either because it's still soft, it's still got road tyres on it, it still wants to bounce about a bit but maybe it's over braked for that because yeah the ABS I mean it's, a, it's an E36 in it so we're not talking the most advanced MK60 or whatever they did on the on the you know mid 2000 BMWs this is a very early primitive ABS system and it weren't doing a lot not with those Porsche calipers on yeah it wasn't doing a lot at all. There was a few times where I thought, oh fucking hell, especially on the lap just before pitting, I thought, Christ, ooh, what was gonna, I didn't even know what was gonna happen, and I don't know if Pete got it on the external shot or not, but yeah, that was locking. I don't know if it's front or rear or what, but definitely there was some, some locking going on. I think it was rear, but car wasn't slowing down. Maybe the, maybe the brakes are just, um, you know, they're trying to stop quicker than what the tyres can give, because you only wish to get a certain traction budget with your tires and you know we're on cup two tires which are good good tires but you know like i said we're on 225 size and we're on a car that weighs probably 1400 kilos you know maybe maybe a little bit less than that but asking a lot of, of not a lot of meat on the ground you know despite what compound it is and then we've got those porsche four pot front and rear calipers just you know doing all they can to slow it down but you're going to be limited by your tires and i think we were 
I think we were limited by the size and obviously the ABS wasn't helping but yeah that yeah, was good other than that we had a little moment at the chicane as well just uh, hit the curb and it just sent the back end of the car out but that was that was all nice and cool the seating position wasn't great uh, it's on like I think we saw in the other video it's on some kind of like Ricardo style seats um, or Corbeau I think they are but E36 is when you put and E46 is when you put aftermarket seats in um, you often end up sat offset and it's, it's always a bit disconcerting and uh, yeah the steering wheel's kind of on the left a bit but you know we kind of we kind of got around it and we just carried on didn't we look at this this is when you know you're part of a car club right there you go everything that you need to know Although luckily those OZ wheels oh no are they OZ? yeah they are OZ they had some different wheels on it before didn't it when we went to look at it but there you go look this car has taken us all over the country and represented the BMW car club at shows and club meets yeah yeah good car E36 saloons cool aren't they seems to be a lot of silver ones kicking about modified silver ones maybe they were a popular car at the time or something but Right, that's all from this one then, so thanks to Pete for letting me take his track car out. Like I say, it's probably still for sale if you're watching this. This is a bit of an advert, I guess, but it's all good for me. I wanted to drive the car, you know. I want to drive the car, you know. I'll do anything, you know. Let me know if you've got a car that you want me to drive. Send me an email, email address. Look at that, I bought a, a domain-style email address. Look at that. Into the future we go. Photobombed, photobombed. All good, right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a future one.